The Keenan Hotel, a landmark in downtown Fort Wayne, was built in 1922. At that time, it was the second tallest building in Indiana, 13 stories, with one of the floors labeled the mezzanine, out of deference to the superstitious. The hotel was built by the late James F. Keenan, second in the line of hotel proprietors who built several of Fort Wayne's famous hostelries. And upon his death, it passed into the hands of his daughter. Following a major fire caused by an arsonist in 1969, the hotel was extensively redecorated, but a second fire in January 1974, necessitating further major improvements, spelled the end for the hotel, once known as the Waldorf of Fort Wayne. As redecorated, the hotel had 214 rooms and suites, with banquet and meeting rooms to accommodate groups of up to 250 persons. These elegant rooms have played host to many notables, such as Eleanor Roosevelt, ex-president Harry Truman, Helen Hayes, Babe Ruth, Jack Dempsey, and John F. Kennedy. Some of the most elegant dining in downtown Fort Wayne was to be enjoyed at the Victorian Dining Room. The coffee shop featured quick service and moderate prices for breakfast or lunch, while the King James Inn was one of Fort Wayne's more popular night spots. In June 1974, the doors of the Keenan were opened for the last time for a final liquidation sale. Over a period of several weeks, 300,000 items, ranging from doorknobs to a new automatic elevator, were sold to make way for the demolition crews. On October 20th, Jack Lazo of Control Demolitions Incorporated pulled the switch which activated 330 pounds of high-velocity gelatin in 252 separate charges and sent the once proud building crumbling into ruins. Control Demolitions Incorporated is the same firm which last January leveled the Van Orman Hotel. We spoke with Jack Loiseau, president of CDI. Well, this was a very tough building. I think the, the columns were probably 20% steel rebar and uh, spiral wrapping. And it had us worried, frankly. We didn't think it would come apart like it should. We thought it might lay out, but it was just couldn't have been better. So we're thankful. One big difference, the Van Orman was prepared in advance, and when we came to town, everything was ready. This, uh, with this job, we had weather problems, and uh, getting covered today was slow. Of course, we're not in the entertainment business, so we make no apologies for not going at 7 o'clock. The Van Orman was steel frame, and we used linear shape charges to cut the steel. And of course, it was about 50 or 60 degrees colder then. But uh, this was reinforced concrete, and uh, we can control a concrete building They're better. They're more predictable, and I've shot over 200 concrete buildings and only about 28 steel frame buildings.